Hello. Can you guys hear us? Yes. yes. <laughs> can you hear them? There we go. Hi, we can actually see you guys. How are you doing tonight? Hey. Hey. We're, we're, we're there we go. Hi, crowd. So, uh, my name is Power Nelson. I am a superhero from the far off future year of 1982. I have come back in time to save this planet. And tonight, um, we're, we're doing some shit posting. <laughs> Wait, who's that other guy? Yeah, Panama. Can you hear us? Oh, I do. Oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, oh, great channel, guys. I guess that 1982 technology isn't doing too well. Internet lag is one weakness. <laughs> Still there? Yeah, we might, yeah, 1982 internet, you got that right. <laughs> you know what, back when it was only the military? Oh. Yeah, it's power so Nelson down. was no more. <laughs> power Nelson lost power. Okay. Oh, it says reconnection successful, but I'm still getting... Great screen. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Ba 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 Here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think we're back. Yeah. Any connection issues you can Can't make this up. <laughs> Sometimes Scott makes the stream. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. What the fuck? He has horror stories. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Comcast. Oh. Eat my deck. Comcast 8! Oh, no, villain! I don't Comcast. You guys aren't getting a Comcast sponsorship anytime soon. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, if you are here, you have made a mistake. You should be watching cute girls go do cute things. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. In case Wait, are you, you are that? here to actually watch this, welcome to VTubing Horror Stories. We're going to tell you some uh, anonymous stories <laughs> that have been submitted to us. Uh, names have been changed to protect the innocent. And uh, if you happen to recognize anybody's name or any situation, the stories and information you'll hear are artistic works of fiction <laughs> and falsehood. Only a fool would take anything said here as fact. Are we agreed? You guys, you guys agree? Sure. Oh. I understand. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead and let's start. Uh, I figure we'll just switch off reading, Bunzel. Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So, our first one. Uh, I requested a song Power Nelson didn't know during a ukulele request stream, and he said I had bad taste in music and I cried. <laughs> <laughs> that was our that was our first submission to uh, to the EV. A very <laughs> relatable story, I think. Fuck you, Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. All right, uh, do you want to read the next one? Sure, sure. One stream, I had a new viewer come into my stream while it was mid-rant about how great anime girls are, and immediately was just like, wow, I'm so glad there are such cool trans VTubers out there. It's so great to see the trans community get more visibility. Now, for context, I'm a sci-head dude, and I'll present myself so, 
and I am also quite sure that I sound like a dude. <laughs> so I was thrown into straight confusion when this happened, because the new viewer continued to rant and rant about how great it was. Meanwhile, my chat and regulars, and myself, were absolutely confused as to what was going on. My chat somewhat exploded with question marks and saying, well, that's great and all, but this can do true as you trans. And I myself even said, hey, yeah, dude, cool, uh, but I'm not trans. It ended super awkwardly to the point where said person just never replied, and honestly, to this day, I don't even know if I was getting trolled or if that person absolutely died of embarrassment because I never seen them ever again. Hmm, yeah. I get mistaken for a girl sometimes, it happens. I got yeah, We are in work. Oh, thank you, Bunzel. You're looking very cute today, too. Who's my oh, thank you, little Bunzel? Who's my little Bunzel? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so our next one was submitted uh, a few weeks later. Uh, this one is very important. Um, <clears throat> I once saw Power Nelson at a grocery store in Los Angeles. I told him how cool it was to meet him in person, but I didn't want to be a douche and bother him and ask him for photos or anything. He said, oh, like you're doing now? I was taken aback, and all I could say was, huh? But he kept cutting me off and going, huh, 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 and closing his hand shut in front of my face. I walked away and continued with my shopping, and I heard him chuckle as I walked off. When I came to pay for my stuff up front, I saw him trying to walk out the doors with like 15 Milky Ways in his hands without paying. The guy at the counter was very nice about it and professional and was like, Sir, you need to pay for those first. At first, he kept pretending to be tired and not hear her, but eventually turned back and around and brought them to the counter. When she took one of the bars and started scanning it multiple times, he stopped her and told her to scan them each individually to prevent any electrical interference. And then turned around and winked at me. I don't even think that's a word. After she scanned each bar and put them in a bag and started to say the price, he kept interrupting her by yawning really loudly. So, uh... That was a good story. Uh, names are changed to protect the innocent. I believe the story is originally about Ryan Gosling. I couldn't tell. I could totally see you do this. <laughs> I thought it was real. All right, so we're going to go into some real ones now. So this is, well, when I say real, they're fake, but they're real, OK? <laughs> so these are the stories that are actually submitted real things that happened, but they're fake. So don't actually pretend that they're real, okay? They're fake, real to me, damn it. but they're real. Yes, they're real to, to you and me, and oh god, I just fucked up my OBS. Why, oh my god, I'm such a fucking moron. <laughs> okay, what now, bu bundle, bundle, bundle read. Read. Oh god, oh no. Okay, so. Dougie liked watching Perrier. Basically, he was just some dude. I believe it's called Perrier. It's pronounced Perrier. Perrier? Perrier? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's a French word, Perrier. I'm pretty sure it's Perrier. Why did you make this word? <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing names to protect the innocent, and I named things after the thing I was drinking at the time, which was a Perrier. So say you know like I'm American because you're an American, and say Perrier. I'm in Canada. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, it's I guess, technically. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Just okay, okay. Go. Until it came out that, uh, wait, I should just start over, actually. Yeah, start over. The Doogie liked watching Perrier. Also, you're pronouncing it Doogie. Oh, no. It's a Doogie. Doogie? <laughs> just go, just go. <laughs> wait, Dougie liked watching Perrier. Basically, he was just some weird dude. Until it came out that Perrier banned him which caused people to ask questions. So people started looking around, and on his Twitter, he posted a video of him doing massive schizo posts, and had this video of him scrolling through the DMs he made to Pierre. But at one point in the video, while he's scrolling, he just sort of pauses, then flicks past something really quickly, but for one frame, you just see this guy with kind of long hair that's all frizzy and disheveled with his penis out, <laughs> just like fully in the nude. So he's got out of this image, realizing it was there, and then tries to speed past it and keep going. As part of this 
as part of his evidence that he wasn't a crazy schizo or something. But the fact that he said this period of all people is sort of hilarious because this was like really early last year. So there was absolutely nothing sexual about her. They didn't even have that one outfit with the tummy exposed. So, um, we have a lot of stories of people with their dicks out. <laughs> Very fortunately for us, <laughs> people showing their penises is always a funny thing. Uh, man, I keep, I keep going on short ones. I'm gonna read the next two, how does that sound? <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, all right. So this is, this is one, uh, so this one is a little bit fun. This is a little more drama based, less penis based. We're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of penises, but we're, you know, also going to try to talk about some real shit. That's a shame, because I really like the penis stories. Don't worry, there are plenty of penis stories. We have many of them. Uh, so, the story goes like this. Basically, there was this group before, quote, Squeeze, which is a fake group name, which was a very poor, poorly made group with like 30 members. The founder of this musical group kind of scammed people out of commissions and brought everyone on board solely for his dream of leading a successful group and openly cried in a voice chat saying he's sorry for the bad management to which everybody responded by leaving the group immediately. Uh, if you happen to find any relations between this story and things that you know in real life, Remember, this story is a falsehood. It's fake. It never happened. <laughs> All right, so I'll read the next one. There was a fledgling VTuber spamming 3D model creation questions in my Fox VTuber friend's stream, being very disruptive. So I decided to DM the person and offer them help instead of letting them run rampant since I make models myself. I mostly just sent them some tutorial videos for Vroid about how to make head attachments for fox ears. We ended up talking for a couple weeks because I'm too nice a person to stop helping someone once I've started. And man, their audio setup was completely unlistenable. I don't mean bad. I mean screeching, angry, dancing pixies from a toaster in the bathtub, sort of unlistenable. The only thing you could really tell from their audio is that they spoke with a thick Russian accent and spoke very loudly without much expression in their voice. Although it was very difficult and I had to be patient with their limited English capabilities, I taught them a whole bunch of things about microphones and filters. A few times, they had used a webcam to show me objects they were using, like their headset that was cracked in half and poorly held together with masking tape, or how much space they roughly had for things like a mic arm. So I didn't really question it when I was drinking my morning coffee, and she started a Discord call saying she got her new headset, and I was getting ready for another slightly stressful time explaining complex things in simple terms, and she's got the camera pointed directly at her face, wearing the headset, and says, so what do you think? I respond, uh, the microphone sounds okay. And she says, and what about me? Not only was I being ambushed by a VTuber doing a face reveal, no thanks, but I had somehow accidentally gotten some girl emotionally invested in me by providing the same sort of tech support you'd get from a call center. If you're wondering, no. At no point did I use my own webcam or show interest in this woman. This was entirely one-sided and inappropriate. So naturally, Fix Her Audio has been an in-joke with my friends ever since. <laughs> you ever had to fix somebody's audio bundle? Oh, so many times. <laughs> <laughs> you were in that. Good job, 
传说。喝耳机。<笑> Uh, hey crowd, give me a bunch of thumbs up, will you? There we go. Look at that, bro. We hit dead. Yeah, it looks like Apex audio. All right, you want to read the next one? Oh wait, you know what? I want to tell one of my own. Can I tell one of my own? Okay. All right. So, uh, man, wh which one was I going to do? Okay. So I remember I was doing a tier list stream at one point. And remember, this is a fake story. I'm making this up. So oh. I was doing a tier list stream at one point, And uh, I was ranking cartoons. Uh, you know, based on like, oh, look, childhood favorites to shit that I would never watch. And I got to the show Steven Universe. And I put it in B. And uh, the next day, one of my biggest fans <laughs> um, unsubscribed to me on everything. <laughs> he, he, and uh, he began to reply to all of my comments um, with very uh, anti-liberal propaganda. <laughs> Um, oh my god. Like, he was very upset that I enjoyed Steven Universe at a B level, and not at the F level, which is uh, where I think he believed it should have been. Um, He's not even that high. No, <laughs> that, that, was, that was the weirdest thing. Like, this dude was legit offended that I thought uh, Steven Universe was a B level show. Uh, yeah, the his, background, his, his really. reasoning was because um, it's liberal propaganda. Wow. Uh, yeah. So eventually, um, I I came to be mentioned on a big stream at some point. Uh, it involves soccer, if if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And uh, that guy was in the chat. And he said, wow, I can't believe you would talk about such a loser like that. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's my story. <laughs> I, 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 I've, I've had other weird things happen to me, but, uh, you know, some, some of them aren't necessarily appropriate for here that I want to let out. I'm okay with the guy calling me a liberal douche for, you know, thinking uh, Steven Universe is a solid 85 on the scale. You know, I've never even seen that show, but isn't it just about rocks? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's about rocks, rocks yeah. having lesbian sex or something. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Lesbian rocks, bro. Lesbian rocks, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, I like lesbians. We're very LGBTQ plus friendly here in, in this in this stream. Uh, Bugs Hall, <laughs> do you have a story of your own that you'd like to tell? <laughs> uh, off the top of my head, I, I can't think of one. Okay, good. Well, then, but I do have one from uh, the list of you. If you're yeah. Uh, please read this one nice and slow for the audience. Two words. Come tissue. Not even a dick pic, just a crumpled up wad of tissue in my DMs. Why? <laughs> that was actually one of my stories. No, I'm not. Sorry. Man, Bunzel, you are a popular dude. Oh, man. I don't know the half of it. <laughs> All right, uh, how are we doing on time? Oh man, we're we're already like halfway through. <laughs> oh we're god, we don't have enough it. content, Bunzel. Oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> hey, hey, I see you in there. Blue mask, glasses. I see you right near the front. Howdy. <laughs> We're working on it. 
start making some By the way, uh, if any of you have your own stories and you got the uh, the cojones to share them, uh, please step forward. We'd love to hear them. I have a feeling we're not going to get a whole lot of those, but, you know, we'll see. I, I don't think so. You're asking for any potential VTubers in the crowd to just reveal themselves. I, I don't think that's going to work out. Oh. I mean, I figured I'd ask, you know, like, <laughs> A lot of conventions are interactive, right? Like they have people in the audience and they're supposed to like say things and ask questions. Do we have a Q&A for this shit? Maybe. We can always really take questions later on or, or after every story. Should yeah. we take questions? Oh, anyways. Oh, okay. oh, okay. <laughs> So, um, like you said, the story is completely fake, and it doesn't even involve me, because um, why would it involve me? I'm just a chatter on Twitch. <laughs> so, I follow a bunch of indie YouTubers, and this is especially true for people who are from other countries, but they speak English, because, well, a lot of people who are into YouTubers speak English, which makes sense, and Sometimes they don't want to be a part of like a community who speaks a different language because, well, I don't know, I guess they, because they don't feel comfortable with those people, but they also want to interact with the most people possible, etc. So there's plenty of reasons on why, this, why people stream in English rather than in a different language. But um, continuing from that, there is a VTuber that I do know who streams in English, but is not from the United States, the UK, Australia, etc. And based on their accent and based on how Twitch recommends streamers based on location, people were being suggested streams from the same country as them and they would start speaking in different languages. And when a streamer would clearly point out, hey, this is a English stream, um, you please chat in English, and you know they, because they don't speak English, they continue to just chat in their own language, and then they get banned because, well, what can you do? It's not because it's like, well, even if they, even if you do speak the language mm. that they are speaking, and you try to clear it out as clearly as possible to them, they'll probably still ignore it because, well, why not? They get banned, and you know, do usual ban request then turn on ban requests, it will usually be like people saying, oh, hey, look, I didn't mean to. But for some people, it's that's not the case. Usually, and usually for people from other, usually, like, some of the ban requests are actually just them insulting the shit out of them. Like, oh, yeah, you're dumb, you're a dumbass mm -hmm. or something for banning me because, like, go fuck yourself. Why did you ban me? I'm, just trying to speak my own language in your stream, even though you clearly and you know, even though you clearly haven't allowed it. But still, I I have that right to not be banned because I'm I'm trying to talk to you. Like, wow, that's fun. And for that reason, they turn off um I, like ban like ban appeals. I mean, like I've been banned in that chat on accident, and I tried to submit a ban appeal, but you know that didn't work. It's been an accident. I've been unmanned since. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and you know, it, one of the reasons because I'm so much more regular and kind of part of the stream. But you know, still, the whole unmanned request things and the whole weird DMs from people who are like, oh yeah, like, oh yeah, I like you a lot. Please go out with me. Thing too. Like, look. Like, I like doing that in chat in public because I think it's funny. But people doing that in DMs is kind of weird. And a lot of YouTubers get a lot of that kind of stuff, which is kind of funny to me because you're trying to admit to someone that you like them. I don't get that kind of stuff. stuff. <laughs> and you haven't even met them before. I get a lot of that. But, but I like doing it as a gag because it's super funny to me to say, like, oh yeah, I think you're cute in chat. And it's like out of nowhere. And it's, and it, that and, and it's to the point where it's become this little in joke with where every time I enter chat and I say something crazy, 
people like the streamer would just laugh and be like, ah, oh, yeah, no, you just shut the fuck up. <laughs> and we all laugh about it, and it's and it's that. But mm. I would never go into someone's DM saying, please come on, please, please come on. I would never do that. That's just fucking ridiculous. Well, what's, what's your Twitter handle? I'm gonna slip into your DMs and call. <laughs> them. Hey, you're not getting that out of me. You are not getting that out of me. Take me to a nice dinner. <laughs> You you can't tell me what to say or what to do in my goddamn panel. This is my panel. Okay? I'm yeah, not gonna ask you for my information. Do it. <laughs> you got any audio problems? Do you have a personality problem? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, when you say uh, you, uh, you should never DM your ocean. Uh, um, but. If you can DM them and have a normal conversation, yes, never you can. DM your own shit. It is the worst mistake you could ever make. I mean, that's also true too. But <laughs> if you can have a normal conversation with your Oshi, then go ahead. But if you can't, well, don't. Where is it? You DM your Oshi, you might start dating them. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. So they, yeah. Oh, what? What if that happens? Wow, that's crazy. No, that, I don't know. Like, it's very, it's extremely unlikely. The best way to deal with your Oshi mm -hmm. is to just look at their house at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, track down their IP address, you know, the usual. You know, it's like, you know, some people are like Honey Boo Boo, where they have their Chicks did when you dox them. Believe <laughs> <laughs> you me, brother. Believe you me. Man, IP grabbers in chat, I love that issue. <laughs> is that an E3 token? Remember, fellas, ladies love it when you slip them notes to their mailbox while they're watching them. <laughs> they especially love it when they see your house outside at 12 in the morning. Yeah. Alright, all right, hold on, hold on. This, this, is not, this is not love tips with power now, so. <laughs> Just a tip. Oh, God. Just a tip. <laughs> yeah, like. Alright, uh, nice you, you all good, man? Yeah. Yeah, you're all good. All right, more story. Give yeah. him a round of applause. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks, Bobcast. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a delay. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Let's go, Comcast. <laughs> Comcast, more like comic cast. All right. <laughs> Man, that actually reminded me of a story that I have. Um, yeah, me too, actually. So I, uh, I, I had a guy that came into my, my chat the other day, and uh, he, I always find it a little bit weird when people create an account uh, and then join my chat and follow me. You know, I'm always a little wary of that. Because, uh, you know, I, I've had weirdos before come in there and uh, start posting weird shit, trying to psych me out during the stream. So I just banned the guy because his account was like three minutes old, and I was his first follow. Um, the next day, on my YouTube account, I got a notification for a uh, new message. And uh, on one of my most recent videos, a person had typed, You think you're funny? Hi, you stupid fucker. I'm from fucking MS-13. I'm gonna kill your <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better <laughs> uh, and so I didn't unban him. <laughs> uh, all you guys talking about that? It's always 13 year old. <laughs> so, another situation. I was in a, the chat of another VTuber, a very small French VTuber, and um, we were playing Garpic Phone, but then she got raided by like a group of uh, like foreign. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say the country. But there was a lot of political propaganda that they were scripting onto the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I've had, I've had that happen too. Uh, what kind of propaganda was it? You don't, you don't have to uh, hard detail. <laughs> uh, well, the, the recent scripts have put up images of a uh, certain war. Ah, oh, oh, I see. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, 
<laughs> I, got, I got something for that too. Uh, so I run a, a stream every Saturday night, well, most Saturday nights, it's um, called Denny's. And uh, what, what Denny's is, is it's a place for my friend, my friend VTubers to come in and relax after a week of hard work. Um, oh, you open in the background, which if you don't know what an Aggie is, it's a collaborative drawing space. So people that uh, join the people that join, pe like viewers and uh, VTubers can just draw on there, you know, freely. Like they're at Denny's and you gave them a box of crayons. Uh, one night, right after um, the, uh, uh, the, the shit going on in, in Ukraine right now, um, right after that started, uh, my Aggie got filled up with a, a, like, respect where respect is due, this was a very good drawing. But it was a drawing of a skull with the Russian flag on it. <laughs> so, um, uh, like, uh, and I'm like, eh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, man. Uh, it, it, it's nice, uh, but not really what I'm trying to convey on my channel. Thank you. Uh, so, there's no records of that ever existing. But, you know, we, we, we do what we can sometimes with this shit. Uh, people got their own opinions, and, and they like telling them sometimes, and, uh, fuck. Shut up. Damn. <laughs> Alright, uh, do you want to read another story? Uh, we've, yeah, sure. We've got, we've got about half an hour left, and we've got seven more stories, I think. Three of them are pretty short. So why don't you go we'll probably figure out some other by the end. Oh, do we? Are, 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 like, people submitting them as we, as we talk? No, I meant that we probably think of them. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll think of more. Because so much has happened, but off the top of my head, it's hard to think of them. I, I've got at least one more that I can tell. So, uh, okay. why, why don't you go ahead? I was invited to play in a card game collab for a game I had never played before. At first, I was a little interested, so I gave up Navy. Much to my error. The person who invited me would not let up at all. His English was a little poor, but he was messaging me constantly over and over again with random questions and suggestions to the point. I no longer was interested in collabing, so I tried to be polite and let him down gently. But they didn't understand and kept messaging me more and more until I had to put my foot down and still messages came trying to get me to change my mind. It completely turned me off from the game, which I had been a little interested in trying out as I had other friends who like it, but I'm now no longer interested. In the end, I had no choice but to block it. It's Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? This is a, this is a story about Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? This is 100% Yu-Gi-Oh. This is 100% Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh players, man. Them, them dudes is crazy. Yu-Gi-Oh is not a game. It is, it is aggression personified. It's disgusting. Does anybody play Yu-Gi-Oh in the crowd? Kinda. I play spreadsheet simulator. It's kind of the same thing. I love deck play though. You are bad people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of already knew that. <laughs> Alright, I'll read the next one. You know, I actually used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! before I found out there was an anime. Really? <laughs> yeah, I found out it was cringe and then I stopped playing. That's based. <laughs> out something is cringe and then not doing it is based. Good job, Hansel. Oh yeah, by the way, right. don't worry, I can't So, you let's know. go to the next story. <laughs> You're clean now. So, I used to make content that was more family friendly simply because I didn't feel like dealing with people making weird comments about my model or flirting with me. I personally didn't mind not safe for work content. And now I make those kinds of jokes all the time. My community is now 18 plus, like all of you guys are. But I kept it strict just to avoid being a waifu against my will. This had a different effect. It went from people flirting and making weird comments to treating me like a child. <laughs> I'm very open about my personal life so it was so weird to me that I talk about my degree, job hunting, or college, 
And someone would then make a comment like, Teehee, she knows what a booby is. <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck? I was literally mid-rant about how fucked up the public education system is, and someone made a comment about how people can be dicks, and I agreed. Then it became, she knows what a dick is, teehee. <laughs> Let's see if she knows what it is. Ha ha, lol, xd. My guy, I'm a grown woman with a degree and a job. What the fuck? It's so bizarre how I could talk about something I was well-versed in and still be infantilized. Anyway, shit was weird, so I made my community 18+, plus, tightened up my rules, and stopped that shit because it was weird. Don't infantilize VTubers. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, that's, that's real weird fucking stuff, man. <laughs> I, That's really common too. I've seen that so many times. Uh, yeah, it's man. I I I I really try my best to shut down sexy stuff in my, in my ch I, like. There are very we've talked about this before, but I am not a sexy VTuber by any means, right? No, definitely not. <laughs> but I have had some people that tried to do to talk like sexy in my chat before and it's just been really fucking weird and awkward. So I just make fun of them because they're dumbasses. It, uh, it's, it's, I don't understand people that do that either. It really, really irks me when somebody is like doing the second grade playground chatter poking fun at somebody in their chat. Like I get it. You're, you're trying to make them smile and be happy and blah, 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 blah. But there's a better way to do it than pulling her damn pigtails, dumbass. Mm. Damn it. One second. Camera's down. You want to read the next one? Uh, sure. This isn't so much of a horror story and more of a much strange experience. I was acquaintances with a fellow VTuber that acted fairly normal and I enjoyed their streams whenever I could catch them. We're friendly with each other, but don't interact much. During one of my streams, they came into my chat and just said, Can I show you something? I trusted them and said yes, and immediately I saw them posting an ASCII amogus with a giant dick. I deleted it right away and gave a slight chuckle and told them I'd them and they posted it again. Thinking that was the end of it, but they posted it yet again, and I had to ban them for it. They then DM'd me saying they were sorry and were just joking around. I thought it was a bit, har bit harsh on them, so I unbanned them. But the moment they got unbanned, they posted the Yasky Among Us again. <laughs> I messaged them later, just asked them what was going on, and why they were behaving this way, and all they did was reply to me with the same Asky Among Us. <laughs> I haven't contacted this VTuber since, and I have no idea if I'm alone in this experience with them. <laughs> How could Moriko Kyoho do this to a VTuber? <laughs> when you say they were sus... She certainly wouldn't do that, never. <laughs> no, she's definitely the type of what. <laughs> Alright. Um, we, we've, we've only got a few stories left, and then we will free you from the clutches of this place. Unless you guys want to talk with us a little bit more, blah, 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 whatever. Alright. So remember, these stories are fake. I worked for a VTuber agency for a short time that became notable when the founder had a public meltdown and went viral in the community. Won't say which, but if you look to the stars, you'll figure it out. The fallout was massive. A bunch of individuals, talent and staff, came forward with their story of Massive mismanagement internally. The owner attempted to paint a particular member of staff as the reason things fell apart, which backfired miserably as everyone involved with the con came out to smack down the accusations. Happy ending. The person who was accused of being the issue is now on corpo paywall payrolls elsewhere and I got good contacts out of it. I don't know that the owner of the agency 
has been seen under the same name since. Work of fiction, people. Work of fiction. <laughs> All right, uh, and this is our last semi-lengthy one. You wanna you wanna handle this one? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, this one's Number a one horror story. story. Is it? Oh, it is. It yeah, is. This one's yeah, this one's two. So you, you read both. <laughs> okay. Number one horror story, being a VTuber while living at home with your family. My sister barges in my room, high on weed, while I'm streaming to say random shit. Always throws off my grove. Or a roof, I, I think. <laughs> I've had this have several talks with her and my mom about busting in while I'm live. And on several occasions, they have called me by my gamer tag, we'll say. Definitely a problem. But the, uh, the shit my sister says is uh, original. She busted in my room once to talk about how fat my ass is once at nausea. <laughs> Alright, you want me to read the next one? Uh, sure. I'm gonna leave it parched and I'm out of water. Alright, sure. Go get, go get you some water, Bunzel. Uh, I was playing Five Nights at Freddy's and some guy decided to play a prank on me and tried to roleplay breaking into my house and threatening me. So I have one headphone on the other off, trying to listen for people at my door. I've messaged friends to come and check in on me, and this motherfucker made several accounts to do this because I started banning them. So the moral of the story is keep your cool and take no shit. Uh, it's normally good advice for stuff like this. Uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough to never have people do, do shit like that with me, but God fucking forbid somebody trying to role play in your chat, I would probably crucify myself. <laughs> Did you remember talking to, to somebody about this one guy who just did that for everybody's chats. I forgot his name. Well, like he would role play in their chat? Like what is that? Yeah, he, he would like write out like large paragraphs with just one random guy. <laughs> <laughs> About what? About nothing. Like you would read it and it would be absolute nonsense. It, it was the strangest thing. I have no idea what happened to that guy. I haven't seen him in like six months. Mm, that's a shame. Sometimes weirdos are fun, right? Like, we, we enjoy having strange people come into the chat and be interesting, but uh, th there, are, there are levels to this. There are definitely levels. And, uh, man, some motherfucker coming in there and, and typing the Odyssey to you will probably throw you off pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we've only got two ones. more stories, <laughs> and these are very short ones. Uh, so... Uh, would you like to tell this one? With these aren't uh, actually that good, but you know, I know I think this one's very understandable, and I think yeah. you'll appreciate this one. I tried to tell my brother that I had started VTubing, but he hadn't heard the term and thought I had started cam girling. It took me half an hour to change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a friend. Uh, that got into VTubing, and her, 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 her mom did not understand VTubing at all. Uh, as, as, she, as she put it, her mom would say things like, so you an anime girl or something? <laughs> and uh, she, would, she would try to explain, yes, I'm an anime girl, and they give me money for being an anime girl. Uh, I don't. I don't think the older people understand this very well. So, no, they don't at so, all. So what I do is I tell them I'm I'm Max Headroom. We've got one more story for you guys tonight. Uh, thank you all very much for coming, sticking with us. Um, this last one is sort of. Uh, What's that term for, uh, it signifies all of VTubing in, in one phrase? Oh, it embodies it. Embodies it, thank you. So, this next one embodies VTubing. 
Penis pictures. <laughs> Weird penis pictures in my DMs. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> are they weird because of the pictures of penises or are they weird penises? Uh, probably oh man, that color's a little odd. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining just a really crooked dick pic. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Just a spider on a Let's let. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's taking pictures of their local duck. <laughs> uh, man, anybody, anybody in the audience got their story? Sure, I can tell one. Come on up, man. All right. Get you up here. Hey, come on up. Come on up. Let's let's hear this. Hey, everybody, give this person a round of applause. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Oh, this one. On the end there. All right. Oh, dear. This one work better? Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So this completely fictional story involves two of VTubers. We'll call them uh, Blonde and Redhead. Okay. And Blonde and Redhead VTubers, they are very good friends. You know, they collab together. They've known each other for a long time. Or part of each other's streams and everything. So this viewer has been watching these VTubers for quite some time. And Redhead had this stream where she takes, you know, marshmallows, you know, where the people can submit questions and they read them on the stream, right? So she had gotten a love letter on one of her marshmallows, right? And it was this multiple paragraph thing. It would be like, oh, Oh, Redhead, I, uh, I love you so much. We should live together. I'll build you a house with all your favorite things in it. You know, so on and so forth, you know. It was more, it was more sappy than creepy side, but, you know, still what it is, right? What it is, right? And Redhead being the, you know, the, the kind of YouTuber she was, you know, thought this was a, you know, nice letter. I said, thank you very much and everything. It was sentimental, heartfelt. Um... And the blonde YouTuber was in the chat, you know, they were reading it, having a good time. Now, me, well, voice Now, this person, being a viewer of, of the blonde YouTuber, oh, no. knowing that she had a QA, um, you know, a couple days later, said, I'm going to take this letter, replace all references. All references to the redhead VTuber to the blonde VTuber and submit it to her QA. <laughs> As a joke, right? As a joke. Uh, and this turned out to backfire on this person quite spectacularly. Now, uh, this person, <laughs> you know, took the love letter, replaced all the references, submitted to the QA, didn't think anything of it. Come a day later, you know, redhead VTuber posted on her Twitter saying, oh, I had gotten this really nice love letter the other day, and it was really heartfelt and sentimental, and I liked it. But it turned out to be some copy pasta. Someone just submitted it as a joke, and, and you no, know, she was really, really upset and sad about it, right? And come to find out, she thought it was a copy pasta because this mysterious person had submitted the same letter. To the blonde YouTuber, and the blonde YouTuber had talked to the redhead YouTuber about this, apparently. Um, so, um, the person, a person reading this Twitter post said, Oh no, what a disaster. What have I done? <laughs> so, um, come to find out, you know, a couple days later, um, you know, blonde YouTuber has her Q&A. Um, this the end of the Q&A, and she said, Oh, I'm also... Uh, received two love letters, right? Um, so she reads the first one, which is the, the you know, the fake one, the, the one that was submitted before with all the references changed, right? And she was reading it all seriously and everything, and gets to the end, and she says, oh, this is a really nice letter, but you two timing viewer, <laughs> how can you send the same love letter to two different VTubers? Don't think I didn't know what you did. <laughs> Um, so, um, the person who sent that, you know, fake one thought, oh no, what a disaster. Not only did I, like, ruin Redhead's day by thinking she received a fake love letter, 
Now I'm also <laughs> ruining the plot stream by thinking she, you know, by submitting this fake one as real, you know, and she took it, you know, it was such a joke or everything, but, um, cue uh, one uh, very apologetic person starting a flurry of DMs trying to resolve the situation <laughs> to make sure Mr. A person who uh, sent the original love letter was, uh, oh no, was appropriately credited and they didn't feel bad and that, um, you know, this, this mix-up, uh, you know, didn't cause any bad feelings. So what it was, you know, effectively a practical joke. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> that was the story of this love letter joke that went horribly, horribly wrong. You're too tired, Ben. <laughs> so too tired. <laughs> <laughs> How could they? <laughs> oh, totally fake, by the way. <laughs> yeah, totally fake. Yeah, totally fake. These totally stories fake. are real. Yeah. We made it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I also don't know another story about Redhead that she got audio from somebody masturbating. <laughs> 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 totally fake. Totally, totally fake. fake. Never happened. Well, tell us more. Tell us more of this fake story. Yeah, yeah. Let's huh. elaborate. I mean, she never sent me the recording. I, I can't tell you more. <laughs> <laughs> fake audio. Wow. No, no, no deets. No deets. <laughs> No uh, I have had other people send me photos of penises that they got sent in DMs, and I, I just told them to comment on the color to destroy their confidence so they don't send any more. <laughs> Man, I never get dick pics sent to me. I, what, how come everybody else is getting dick pics sent to me? I mean, you know, no, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah. So, <laughs> to be thought of. <laughs> well, dick pic dudes day. Every Tuesday. Sunday. Yeah, every everybody in this crowd, I expect dick pics in my DMs. Uh, my yeah, social is, is down to <laughs> you just send them directly to me. Please attach your Face picture too, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, your home address, your phone number, and your social security. Yeah, right, that's it. <laughs> yeah. All of those. The numbers on the back. Yeah. Uh, I also accept credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> what about bank account numbers? Alright, I think we should call this for the night. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bank. Bank account numbers are worthless without the routing number also. So if you're going to send me the bank account number, you need to send me the routing number. Okay. Expect that later. Down. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Alright, are we good? Everybody good? Everybody want to go to sleep? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, Free us from this mortal coil. I got to drive home. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> in Vegas. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think Gore, it's like an hour from here. Oh, Jesus um, Christ. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brutal. It's going to be a fun drop. <laughs> uh, Can't get better than that. Can't get any better than that. Wow. You went to rave and cut it off too early. Podcast is dirty. All right. Well, while we wait, I'll tell something. I'll tell something. Okay. Well, next, next. Oh, you want to tell a story? Yeah, yeah. Just a horror story. I'll just throw something in. Yeah. Um, so, I don't usually think of myself as a very um, intimidating person, especially when I get really, really into character for streaming. 
Uh, and that's what makes this such an odd occurrence. So I got invited to an eight-person thing, and it was Left 4 Dead 2, and I'm just like, alright, I know this guy kind of well, I can fill a slot, seems pretty reasonable person, uh, <laughs> and I didn't think much would come of it, you know, you're just amongst eight people, you know, you don't think you're gonna have too much of an impact, are you? But, um, but come, you know, time to collab, we're having fun, and whatever, but the guy, we get put on the same team, and he starts to get really, really try hardy. Uh, starts to, st I'm playing well, but there's some other people that aren't, and yeah, I just gotta make sure I assert that. <laughs> but there's some other people that aren't, and he's getting really, really frustrated. And eventually, on a losing match, halfway through, server connection dies. And I immediately say, uh, you know, what I think would be funny, which is, did you just rage quit out of this? I mean, the game's going poorly, but it's not going that poorly. And, um, and I, I press on this joke a little bit. I press on it. I, I go in. Uh, but I'm, I'm still just like, um, I'm still just, uh, uh, just having fun with it. And, uh, and eventually the... I'm gonna have the stream in the other window. I see the stream goes to BRB. I see it get pulled into a private Discord call. And then the guy says, Hey, could you stop? You're making me really, really uh, uncomfortable. Um, and it's like, and yes, I did reach quit. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> and that's probably the most uncomfortable thing that's happened. There haven't been many. There haven't. Thankfully, there haven't been many dick pics sent to me. I think you're gonna have to expand on that one. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, anybody else got any stories? We'll, we'll ask. Anybody else got a story? Come on up. Please, I want to sleep. They were good for the day. No. See ya. We're not a bad house. Bad house wall, but it's nothing new. Wow. How do they are, man? The Japanese really don't like tattoos. Either. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, Oh my god, we've got like a two minute delay. <laughs> That's how the bar is right. <laughs> like we're talking to the moon, man. So telegrams like it's the 80s. We're going to be doing telegrams. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, let's just go ahead and call it for the night then, because we're this delay is too much for us to really interact with the crowd. Uh, oh, God damn it, we just yeah, cut out again. That. We just cut out again. <laughs> <laughs> mercy, mercy kill. <laughs> so good. Oh, this, this, this comedy of errors, my God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>